assalamu alaikum dear students i am said wajid ali shah lecturer english government degree college chol district jakobabad i am here to deliver lecture uh, in association with uh, college education department online lecture so <clears throat> i had presented my uh, previous lecture on the topic of uh, 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 elements of poetry and uh, origin of poetry in that lecture i had mentioned that uh, poetry is a metrical composition and uh, poetry is uh, a spontaneous or full of powerful feelings um, uh, these were the comments of uh, different critics uh, uh, regarding to poetry okay so i am here uh, today i have to produce uh, the topic uh, forms of poetry Used at intermediate level, especially intermediate level. This one is the uh, book of uh, selection from English was related to uh, intermediate part one and two. So <clears throat> there are so many uh, forms of poetry which are used in this book. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to mention about uh, the forms of poetry which are produced by William Wordsworth. So. William Wordsworth was a uh, poet of nature and uh, he was pioneer of romantic movement. Uh, he produced uh, a couple of uh, forms of poetry uh, in this book of intermediate uh, uh, selection from English verse. Number first is the sonnet. Uh, this one is a paramount uh, form of a poetry which is used uh, in English literature, and uh, before uh, William Wordsworth, uh, uh, William Shakespeare, who is an eminent figure in English literature, he also used uh, and composed so many sonnets. Uh, we are discussing about the uh, formation of sonnet. But what is the sonnet? Uh, sonnet is taken from sonnet. This one is Greek word. Okay, and uh, sonnet means sound in Greek language. Uh, Sonnet, uh, which is written in this book, Sonnet uh, composed upon Westminster Bridge. Uh, sonnet is uh, subcategorized into two uh, stanzas. Number first stanza is containing on eight lines, therefore it is called octave. And uh, number uh, second stanza is containing on six lines and it is called sistat. So, these all, uh, when we calculate all of these lines, uh, and uh, this will be uh, 40 lines. Uh, planet is containing on 40 lines. Okay. The second one is, which is produced by William Wordsworth, and uh, this one is uh, lyrical ballad. So, lyrical ballad uh, in the form of a Lucy Gray. Uh, William Wordsworth used in this book. Uh, uh, this one is a combination of two forms, so lyric and ballad. Okay, lyric. It is taken from lyre. So, lyre means uh, uh, some sort of a uh, device of singing. Okay, uh, which can which can be sung. This one, this is called lyric. Uh, it is a kind of a song. Uh, and uh, this one is a personal poetry, not impersonal. Uh, Why ballad? So ballad. Uh, uh, is a type of a short story uh, full of uh, English of uh, patriotic and romantic tales. Okay, this one is a ballad, the combination of two things, lyrical ballad, in the uh, form of uh, Lucy Gray and other stories which were given by William Wordsworth at intermediate level. Okay, so lyric and ballad. So, <clears throat> third one form which is used in this book. And this one is Lay. It is also a type of a, a short romantic tale and resembles with ballad, no doubt. Lay. And Lay is uh, produced in this book by uh, Walter Scott, Lay of Lost Minster. Okay. The fourth one. Form of a poetry in this book is uh, given by uh, Robert Browning. 
and this one is dramatic monologue. This one is an interesting form of a poetry. And first of all, it was used by Robert Browning in Victorian era. And in, a, in dramatic monologue, there's uh, uh, an involvement of imaginary character uh, which expresses uh, feelings of poet. That poet uh, expresses his own feelings, but an imaginary character uh, expresses uh, uh, the feelings of poet. Okay, this one is uh, dramatic monologue. Uh, there's a usage of dramatic monologue in this book. Uh, incident of French camp is the product of dramatic monologue. First of all, this term was used by Robert Browning and Robert Browning is attributed and awarded as poet of love. Okay, and concerned with and belong with, belongs to Victorian era. So the fifth uh, form of a poetry as uh, uh, used by uh, John Milton, a great name in English literature, John Milton. Uh, he's a creature of uh, Paradise Lost, Paradise Regained, and so many poems, epic poems. So this one is, uh, fourth, uh, fifth one is epic. Epic. Uh, this one is long narrative poem, containing on heroic deeds, uh, and consisted of uh, uh, the adventures of knights. This is called the epic poem. Uh, the longest epic poem of the world was Mahabharata in Hindi language, and so many epic poems which are uh, in it with uh, heroic deeds, uh, wars, uh, and adventures, catastrophe, and etc. Okay, this one is epic. So uh, when we uh, mentioned about. Uh, uh, the epic, it is so called Homeric simile. Epic is called Homeric simile, also called the allergy. Sixth one is allergy. Now, each and every knows that allergy is a mourning poem, lamenting poem, and it is sung at the day, uh, at the death of anyone, uh, dearest and nearest uh, uh, personality. So, it was uh, uh, first of all written in pastoral form. Pastoral allergy, uh, uh, no doubt, uh, this was romantic, but uh, it was written in uh, um, the death of a shepherd or uh, rustic life. Okay, this was allergy, lamentic point. Uh, and uh, another word we use uh, for po uh, allergy is uh, dirge. Uh, this one is also uh, lamenting and mourning poem, and uh, some uh, on the death of uh, anyone. Okay. For the seventh one, <clears throat> seventh one is uh, kill your lyrics, uh, which I had. Uh, 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 defined uh, in the combination of lyrical ballads, so ly lyric is uh, uh, taken from lyre. Uh, it is some sort of uh, singing device, and it is a personal poetry. Lyric means song. Uh, in modern age, uh, uh, this is a huge usage of uh, uh, lyric. Uh, um, each and every po poet of uh, every language uh, of uh, Sindhi, English, uh, Urdu. And other languages, first uh, 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 composing poetry in lyric form. Okay, this one is a lie, and taken from liar. Uh, and and the last uh, act one is uh, odd. The odd. It is also a song, but. When we define about it and that it is a uh, song, no doubt, but of loftiest style, the loftiest style. So, first of all, uh, uh, it was uh, produced by two great masters, uh, Horace and Pindar. Therefore, it has two types, Horatian Ode and Pindaric Ode. So, 
a song of love kit is tell is called uh, ode uh, and nowadays uh, ode is categorized into two uh, types uh, modern ode and classical ode modern ode and classical ode so these are uh, eight uh, uh, paramount and major element uh, forms of poetry which are used in uh, selection from english was intermediate level uh, verse book uh, sonnet which is containing on 14 lines a lyrical ballad okay uh, when we mentioned about the lyrical ballad that uh, romantic era was started by the publication of lyrical ballad and uh, um, lyrical ballads were written by uh, william wordsworth okay so it has a taste of romance okay let so when we interval la short romantic tale of a romantic uh, adventure like ballad ballad and la resemble to one another so dear students uh, this was a brief lecture about uh, the forms of poetry which are used in intermediate selection from english verse book and in next lecture inshallah we will tell you about the era and ages in english literature which is very necessary subject to us and enter uh, i'll wait for your comments and uh, queries and questions uh, inshallah uh, we will continue this series which is given by our secretary college education and minister college education education so uh, thank you and good bye